Hi, John here. Today it's Sunday, 21st of January 2018. Now I'm just doing an exercise today on um, Morai. Uh, the 10 Morais I've opened up as uh, Native Magistrate Courts. And I'm uh, just going back to um, uh, Morai in Omokoroa Marae in Tuhoi. O Omori Waka. Omori Waka Marae in Tuhoi. Sorry. I'm just going to ring somebody and see if I can get hooked up. I'm getting ready for the hearing next week. And I'm hoping that someone there might answer and come up. <coughs> something afterwards. Say so, Okay, I'm gonna see who I get. It's in uh, Waimana, a pretty bear plenty area. I'm hoping someone will come to Hi, uh, John Wanoa here in Auckland speaking. Uh, can somebody give me a call please? My number is 020-4085-1042. We have a... Uh, oh, it's gone off. Okay. <coughs> That's how it works. Um, so, I'm just looking at this Marae that I've opened up. Omuriwaka Marae opened up uh, as a native magistrate court and um, I'm hoping I can get a hold of somebody there. I've got numbers I've got to go and look right through of the meeting I had there and the minutes I've got and who's in charge. I'll just put it somewhere but I'll go back and find it. At the moment I'm just um, putting these documents together, I'll show you in a minute, <coughs> all these um, documents for apostate, I'm going to bind them up today, there's a few of them there, and ones that I've finished here, there's a few of them here, these ones, okay, those ones that I've finished. That one, the and all these ones to do yet, to bind up, okay? That's all the work I've been doing yesterday. And for those people who are watching and waiting till I finish it all, it's just legal stuff, well, to be legalised and apostoly, Canterbury. <coughs> through the Church of Canterbury. I'm just going to show you something afterwards of what happened with David Moxon, the Bishop.
Archbishop of Canterbury, <coughs> Church of England, here in New Zealand, went to the Vatican, okay, to take up a position there. <coughs> and he's the Bishop of Waikato, <coughs> where um, the Paramount Chief, Tira Waikato, Whareherehere, here, here, Manukau, um, was set up on his malaise and his land down there. All that land in Hamilton, all, all that land is his. And his descendant, Refe from Manukau, in the Manukau, Auckland area, right north, <coughs> to Hori Tikuri. I'm telling you a true story. You better believe it, because this is the true story, not the one you're watching and seeing, the Maori side. No, it's just not Maori. There was no Maori back then, <coughs> in 1823, right up to 1840. There was no such thing as Maori. There was only the native of mixed races, Samoa, Tonga, Hawaii, Tahitian, <coughs> uh, Macquishan, uh, South American. <coughs> um, and all sorts coming here. So I'm going back in time to put the history right. I'm responsible as a executor for the Manukau Moriori Trust in this Waikato area where this bishop has <coughs> gone to the Vatican into their criminal activity going on there. All that stuff, those memorials in the Vatican in Italy have been stolen, the obelisk and the pyramids, all stolen from Africa. And so we're going back into the native side to claim back everything that belongs to us, here, in this country at least, and in other countries, while following this model of original native <coughs> titles. Okay, so... Um, I've got the uh, native Te Unga Waka Marae Native Magistrate Court hearing next Friday, the 26th of January 2018, for the record, at 10 o'clock. A hearing will be conducted in the presence or the absence of those people who I have named as criminal thugs and pirates operating businesses on this land, including John Key, who's just run away to Australia, won't get far. John Key, there's a warrant out for your arrest and a bounty on your head, a contract. Okay? Everything we do is contract. The contract makes law and law makes contract. Next Friday, if you don't turn up all these documents that I'm just showing you, are going to be apostolized after they are signed by a notary public that's approved by <coughs> the New Zealand government <coughs> and internal affairs and the foreign affairs. So you're getting to see these documents first so they are discovered. Everything I'm doing is discovered as fact cited evidence for the court case next week against everyone I've named, including the ones I've named before, including the whole parliament, the police, all of them, the judges, the courts, the lot in this country operating fraudulent scam businesses, including the birth certificate business that I put online in front of you, identify the fraud and caught in the act of fraud. You can't get out of it. The highest court in these lands is the Marae. So I'm putting this flag on the Marae <coughs> as the authority, jurisdiction and its constitution as being above the law that's in Wellington, New Zealand. The libel as third party judgment debtors. Acting as J. 
judgment creditor for the Moriori Manukau Trust <coughs> and the Maui Crown. Those two companies are private and the Maui Crown King William Ford Trust creditors. These are creditors. The Nga Atuewa Aotea Limited Trust share company of one of a trillion shares right through the world. The parent company of 250 companies and countries in the world affiliated to this My Crown King William IV Trust. King William the Fourth flag, commercial land owners. You'll notice that our names are in capital letters. All your names are in capital letters is worth one trillion pounds in these fact cited evidence documents. Okay, so I've got them all set out <coughs> here. <coughs> That's our king, Venice Augustus, his apostoly, okay, and his title, and the constitution beside it. And our Chiefs signing that. They've got dates on them when these native magistrate courts were held. I did at least 10 of them. I'm just going to show you in a minute. And <coughs> John Rogan, conveyance of solar lands in New Zealand. Okay, so these are all the citations, documents to be legalised. Once they're legal, they go with this flag, which is the licence to run this country and the whole world. In the British Empire, three kings, three chiefs, three kings. Three kings, King William III, creator of the Bank of England and these pound notes, <coughs> and creator of the Big Point Star municipalities, municipalities, these two ships, and I'm doing this one. It's the old one, that's the old one, but it's worn out. And here is the municipalities of those three kings. King William the Third, King William the Fourth, and King George the Fourth. That's King William the Third, creator of the municipalities. You collect the land leases, rent, and its fines, royal revenue, price positions, and administration costs. That's King William the Fourth there. That's our authority that I'm expressing here and making statements that we are in control of our country with this land. If no one turns up, the Hui or the Native Magistrate Court in Ipsum, to Nawakamarai Native Magistrate Court, if no one from the Crown turns up, this goes against you. You never had any authority here at all over this flag. Someone's using this flag. And that's where these notes are going right over your heads. Where did I put it? Oh, there was something. Yeah. This note is going right over your head. There. This will be apostolized as the law next Friday. <coughs> There'll be a sign sealed by notary, approved, and sent to Britain to control what you can do on these lands. We're going to leave you there as debtors to run this country and reduce your powers. In fact, we'll be in charge. That's 
King Ernest Augustus Town Oak Deer. Okay, I've just made it on my printer yesterday. And Jamie, this one will be apostolized as well. Yep, with Jamie and I there. Okay, she's a Patrick on the eight point star Patrick here in New Zealand. But I'm going to Northern Ireland, Belfast to join up with the Patrick family there, my family, and the Rogans and Cosgroves with the Wanoas, okay? So that's the amount there, 970 million trillion trillion against all the Parsi in 250 countries of the world. In fact, where the Queen went. Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth went. That's your bill and all your uh, agent, crown agents. Here in New Zealand, you get that bill, you share that bill. <coughs> and that's the king there on the, that one there. My printer couldn't go big, so. And that's your birth certificate. We're gonna seize off you, okay? One trillion pounds, that's just the birth certificate coming out of that, okay? I'm gonna have to do this because no one's speaking for the king, and no one's speaking for those two chiefs. They're from from Manukau, from Auckland, and Te Rawakato for here in Manukau, from Waikato, Mangatotali Mountain, Cambridge. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what this government's been up to with the bishop of Waikato. It's been stealing the information from the Whakapapa of their Maori people. That word Maori and the iwi has been fashioned by this Church of England and the New South Wales government. That's separate contract to the King's contract. We're in a contract with the King with this flag. This flag is a King's flag on dry land. We don't need a bar and a dock. That's in this court. The Queen's Bench Court has to have a dock for its ship out at sea. It's tied up on our land. And they come ashore and put a bar there and a dock where you stand in and be tried in their court out 200 miles out in the sea. This is a dry land trade. You're going to be charged on a marae anywhere. Anywhere we pull you out and you're charged on the spot. Okay, if a sheriff pulls you out with the hat on, the, with this hat on, if he pulls you up with this hat on, he can charge you on the spot with this authority because he's there as a municipality officer to seize what you're holding if you don't tell him the truth about who you are and what you're doing there and on the land, on the land. I'm talking about the land and these documents and the law here on this one with all the acts of King William IV inside it, inside here, right? There'll be steps up today. So I'm going to them up and that's, I can now have everything split out. The law in one, the king in another, right? The king in this one, okay? But different jurisdictions, that's all the <coughs> acts and things in that one, we're operating under him as our oath of office, and that's John Rogan with his land titles over the Manukau land in Auckland, the one that got rejected, Cook Street, that, that's Cook Street here, okay, Cook Street, there's another book for Cook Street here, there's books everywhere, Cook Street, there's Cook Street here, this book, and this one, oh, this, 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 this one's this is all the maps of Cook Street. Everything back in 2008-2009. Right, that's, that's to be apostolized. This is all the original titles before those owners got it. They're in here and this is the devil advocate here. That's the receipt of the road going through Cook Street, Simpson Cook Street, that Don Grant from Australia, Lance Havre, in retirement there, came here 
as Lynn's land use and that land use and information user and forged this receipt on the road, the Crown Road in the middle of the property that was sold, illegally sold, and um, he's caught up in that. So we've got these apostolized. Those are the X of King William IV in bed. A whole lot of them. I can use any of these, and one of them's got hanging execution in here. I can use on anybody who's committed treason. John Key has committed treason here. Helen Clark, all of them actually that have made the decisions. So here is another one. These have been signed on the Marais. That's me there. Okay, and I put these through together over the years. This is a story on its own. I had to be the author of my own stories, which are true. So every book has got a chapter. Okay, and this is Morris Baker's Nati, uh, Morris Baker's Huri Te Kuri. Okay, I've just got to stitch the rest of these titles together. But these ones, it says. <coughs> Name a block. Rangiafia number one. 80 acres. Hokiana. That's what? That's the land block where he is, where the house is going straight out the other way. And that's the title. That's the British title in Hokiana. 6th of February 1879. Survey is completed. And the fee is paid. And the transfer name is Huri Tekuri. The whole of shares in two Hedemaya Huri Tekuri. That's the sum. By execution order of the Native Land Court. taking them out of the big book and uh, I'll be apostolizing the big book with everything but I've split the whole book out. The whole Kuri to Kuri. So this is for Lobo um, Morris Baker. Him and I have gone them together by succession order of the native land court dated the 22nd of June 1898. Okay, so that's there. I've got his. I, I want. I want to be specific on everything I do because there's nothing out of place. It's for you to prove who you are, and everything here of the books has been split out of this. Okay, this is the main main book that I've carried around as the magistrate. That's the magistrate. This is all magistrate. That's how they did it. When they came from England, they came, the church came first like this bishop of Canterbury. They came first to soften the blow on the natives and then brought the guns in, the cannon law. Okay, the cannon law. And shot everybody out. So this is the confederation. Okay, with Mohi Manita and myself and the confederation right there. Okay, the old people. I'm one of those. I was with them, and I've got all their things here. And this is Cook Street, again. This Cook Street, just this one. That's the court hearing we, we conducted this in Epsom. Ben Davis was there, and, and a few others. And that was official. These are all official. This one here is Mohi Manakaos, Papa Papa, with me, our Wanwa, and the Rogans, and the Manakaos, right there. Okay? So you can't get away from them. The, the stamp seal of the two chiefs. Right? Tedawakato, and Bishop Thomas Campbell, right in this seal here. Okay? I'll bring it up closer so you can see. This is the Whakapapa of <coughs> the four main tribes. This is supposed to be Ngāti Whātua, 
tribe here in this Whakapapa, okay? And I've got it in this book as proof. It with Mohi Manukau, the Freemason, right there, okay? And his carving there of the four main tribes and the parliament. The Confederation never got off the ground because its Whakapapa was all wrong. And that's the East Cape, 1831, there, of St. Mary's Church on my land block, the Rahui Marae in Tikiriki, and 1823, <coughs> William B. Baker, magistrate, with books like this, came to Rangitukia School. The school house there was the resident. Magistrate office. Put the first native land title together in commercial trading bank instruments. The birth certificates in Tiki Tiki, in the St. Mary's Church for all the world. That's why I'm going into 250 countries with this title. Okay? And that trillion pound note is the value. I've got here in one of these apostolies as the value of everyone's birth certificates. Okay, so there's seven billion people in the world, there's seven billion trillion that the value set against this nine hundred and twenty million trillion trillion pound note. That's just the birth certificate value worth seven billion trillion. I right dare in this trillion pound note birth certificate. Okay? That one. That one. The gold and the pound note digital and myself there. Okay? I have to I have to write my own story because nobody else can. I have to write and be the author of my own book. There's no body because it's a waste of my time telling somebody all the history and they can screw it and change it. I'm not gonna I'm, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not going to let anyone screw my history. Because that's what's happened. They have forged all the history to themselves. And this, I'm going to turn the camera on David Moxham. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera on David Moxham. A man who has already gone to the Vatican. Okay, he's gone to the Vatican. I'll, I'll just start from this Omuri Waka Marae. That's the uh, committee there. I'm just trying to ring somebody, but I'll, I'll get a hold of them next week. Um, so there's their Marae here. That's, that's Omuri Waka Marae there in Tuhoi. It's the last Marae on the, on the road going up the back blocks. <coughs> I'm there to go and recover their... 94,300 acres that Rain, Rainier Forest bought of Karaho for 435 million. Okay, bought it for 435 million and left these people out. This is what I'm saying. This, this crown in here, corporations have run right over us. We're going to terminate their leases on the land. That's what these people want, that's what they get. Because I've um, got all these apostolies, I've got to stitch them up today and bind them up. It's all separated, I've got them in their right places. All this has come out of this big book here. These ones, and I'm putting the other older ones in as well, these these ones. And it's come out of this one, the magistrate book. I'm going to split them all out and put them in their right places. But that one, these will all get apostoly, the whole lot. All the books, and there's some more behind there, I'm going to take the whole lot and get them apostolized. And then I'll go across to um, <coughs> see um, Graham Mallet. <coughs> if you're watching this video, Graham Mallet, I'm real. I'm real. And I'm telling the story as it is for who I am as a surrogate king, William the Fourth. A surrogate King William III, a surrogate King George IV, a surrogate 
Tira Waikato Wharehirehere Manukau Chief, Paramount Chief with King George the Fourth contract, private contract in 1823. Okay, that one and Hori Tikuri is in that contract as well. Okay, from up in Hokianga at that time period. Okay, so those those three, those three chiefs, those three, uh, the two Manukaus and the Hori Tikuri, is the three chiefs here in this country. And the three kings. King George the Fourth was with um Terawakato Fare Hirehire. Oh King George the Fourth was with Terawakato Fare Hire Manakao in Edinburgh, Magistrate Court, that's where they made the contract with William <coughs> Cornwallis Sons. <coughs> okay? And with King um William the Fourth and a from Manukau, 1834, this way, was given to us, okay, for that contract, the first contract in 1823, Refre from Manukau, and King William became king in 1830, 1837, but we're cutting off at 1834, and <coughs> uh, that's with the flag, giving the flag as the flag of New Zealand. It's still the flag of New Zealand, as far as I'm concerned, and for the people of the world watching these videos. So, Refere <coughs> from Manukau made the deal with John Rogan here. That's his writing there. In this one, John Rogan in Auckland region with Refere from Manukau <coughs> and formed the contract with him. He sold a piece of land. That's all the documents for. And all the writings are done for Ref Ref Manukau and John Rogan. Okay? And that's in the Tunga Wakamarai there signing the documents. Okay? There's his letter from John Rogan. And I've just got to find the other bit of the. Oh, I can show you in a minute. I'll show you in a minute. It's on the book, but it's, it's there. I've, I've split them out into the title. I've got to go back on these before I stick them up. It's on this main box here. Okay, there's the receipt there of John Rogan. Right there in capitals, right? Level of Manukau in capitals. And 11th of November 1862, or here. Yeah, 1862, and John Rogan over here. Who's John Rogan? John Rogan, Level of Manukau. Mr. Rogan here, Mr. Rogan there, okay? There, Mr. Rogan and Rokena there. You can see Rokena, Rokena, the buyer and Refere from Manukau, the seller, okay? 1862 and there's our committee and native magistrate court there, they the flag behind. So that's the deal. We're picking up on this contract. This is a commercial land owner. When you see your name in capitals, that's a commercial land owner. You are a commercial land owner that the Crown owns. And so we're seizing it off them because of the fraud. We're seizing it all back off them because they have committed fraud on our lands. Okay? And that's seized my corporate company there. Wanoa. This shirt was in this packet that came back in the mail at Christmas. That's what I got for my Christmas present. A exhibit reference in the court. Their court. And now it's an exhibit, exhibit in our court. A value, value of one trillion pounds. I showed you before in this one of these other ones. Okay? I showed you before. So, I'm telling you facts, such different evidence for the court on all these documents. I'll make another video going through them each to show you how I'm putting it all together. Oh, that one goes on there. Don't get mixed up. I've gone through a lot of trouble last night putting these together. That's an older one. That's the titles of Cook Street, and that's. That's the main 
970 million trillion trillion pound notes. That's what it's worth right back to 1820 when Refref, uh, when Te Rawaikato Manukau went to England and did a deal. From that time he went is the time the 970 million trillion trillion pound note kicks in. So this is the green colour now I've said to you that I would <coughs> get a copy but I couldn't get it big enough. But that's okay. I'm going to leave it like that. Um, and that's Ernest Augustus, our reigning monarch, King of Britain, UK, Hanover, um, Aotea, New Zealand and Pacific Islands. That's Hanover there, the coat of arms. And that there, people, is the gold dragon of Maui Crown. <coughs> that's the 300 million metric tonnes of gold stashed away in the Caribbean under King William III, that's our king, in this eight-point star. That's how he got this from the eight-point star, there, there, and there, on this shirt. The authority of how he got the gold is from this eight-point star and King William's seal in the middle on his horse and his ship in the background. That's why I'm wearing this on this coat. And this stupid woman, Natalie Flower Dew Brown, came in my house here and stripped this off me and left me bare and then took me away in handcuffs. You, you, you're going to hang for that, Natalie Flower Dew Brown. That's treason on the grand scale treason, grand theft of my birth certificate and my birth certificate. You stole this. You stole this. You've committed the crime. I've caught you using this in all the documents. I've got all, I've got all of them cited. I've got all the documents and all the witnesses that you've got against me, 43 people all together against me. I'm using those 43 people against this trillion pound note in here. This trillion pound note on your head. Bounty. There's a bounty on your head. You'll lose everything. Okay, I'm, I'm, I don't care. You fellas didn't care about me, who I am. Now I don't care about you, who you are. All I see is your pirates screwing everybody in this country. And you're going up against this king, a real king, not the queen. Your queen has drug it off. She's fucked off to the EU Parliament and now trying to come back through the Commonwealth country of the world and through the British Empire. No, this is going to stop you dead in your tracks. This flag is legal. We've made it legal here through the right means on the Marae and on this Marae as well. O Muriwaka Marae, we opened up this, but this, they're flying the flag over there, they're flying this flag over there, everybody that's flying this flag is flying it for commercial reasons only, nothing else, commercial reasons, to make money out of you people through debt, okay, it's a debt instrument, these instruments are debt instruments, alright, there's a bigger one of, of Ernest Augustus, full size one, that's black and white, and so, that gives you an idea who, do you see him wearing the eight point star, look, over there? That's it there, okay, that's it there on the flag. And I'm just making sure you know, and there's King William the Third there, okay, King William the Fourth, sorry, okay, and the gold dragon there, and the Hanover, there, yeah, and 970 million trillion trillion. Read it, I'll make sure so you can see. Nine hundred and you see the power notes you got there, the power note. Nine million trillion trillion. That's twelve noughts behind a nine. Equates to nine nine seventy million trillion trillion power note right there. Okay? Jamie there. Patrick is her surname. And that's put there for that eight-point star here in New Zealand and the eight-point star in Northern Ireland, Belfast, with my family there. Okay, so I'm going to show you the last bit of this video on this guy, Boxham. Box, Moxham, not Boxham, Moxham. Over here somewhere. There, that guy. This guy here. This guy here, people, is Bishop Moxham, David Moxham, Bishop of Waikato. As you can see, the look on his face, he knows he's done something wrong, and now he's going to the paedophile 
shithole in the Vatican, the popes, the dirty popes, that are screwing everybody and making money out of it, screwing kids and killing them. And all those devil things, he's going into the devil's den over there and he's taken and stolen our Waikato Manukau history as Whakapapa, as Maori. He's going to take the Maori iwi title and we're coming along with this Maui crown here, seals, and King William seals to blow them to bits, okay, and return things to King William the Fourth there, King William the Third, and us. There I am there. I've got one of me in the um, Rogan Cosgrove outfit. Okay, the Cosgrove Rogan coat of arms, Rogan coat, coat of arms. I've got, I've got a picture somewhere of that with myself in it, and that's going along with all of this lot, all of this lot you see here, this guy. I've just made a, a document here, right, of the Marais. I've just got one more to do. Dion Paiko Walker is the pride of Tikanga language, native customs. Oh, I've got to turn this down a bit. Hang on. I'll read it. Well, I'll read it. Dion Paiko Walker, that's my friend, is the pride of Tikanga language, native customs, reset Whakapapa. This Te Waka Marae Native Magistrate Court to date, I have obviously opened and established 10 Marae as Paramount Chiefs Commercial Landowners private contract with the British Empire of King William III, 1694, King George IV, 1823, King William IV, 1834, Trading Bank, Martial Law Protectorate flag for our Maui Crown King William IV Crown Land Patent flag Sovereign Authority Trading Bank, Native Magistrate Court's jurisdiction as bank creditors. Number one, the first Marae I opened was Okiato Native Magistrate Court in Russell Bay of Islands. Two, second one, Waitangi Marae Native Magistrate Court in Paihia. Three, Te Ti Marae Native Magistrate Court in Paihia, Bay of Islands. Four, Te Iku o Te Hika, Te Hiku o Te Ika Marae Native Magistrate Court, Te Hapua, Northland. Five, Taheke Marae Native Magistrate Court, Court. Hokianga. Six, Awaroa Native Magistrate Court, Helenfrill. Seven, Te Unga Waka Native Marae, Marae is supposed to be there, Native Magistrate Court, Epsom, Auckland. Eight, Waimana, Marae, Opotiki, Bay of Plenty. Nine is um, uh, Te Horo, Marae, Native Magistrate Court in um, Port Awanui, Rotorua. And ten, um, ten Rangitukia. Um, um, <coughs> uh, tina, oh, hang on. The Rangitukia one is is uh, Toikaraako um, Marae in Rangitukia. We are operating at um, Tamaki Reeds um, Kahuta. Uh, who is there? I'm the chairman of that. And uh, Rabataka there with that Marae uh, for Toikaraako Nukutere Marae. Okay, Toikaraako Nukutere Marae is the 10th one. There's another one looming around somewhere, but uh, um, um, that's the main ones there, okay? So now we go to, before this video runs out, I'm going to, um, I'll go back to here, here. I'm just posting this on, on Tuhe, on that marae, uh, o Mokurua, o Mokurua. Oh, oh, I always say it wrong. That marae, o Mori Waka, o Mori Waka marae in Tuhe there. I'm going to contact them, and this one here. Um, where is it? Oh, uh, here. I'm, I'm putting the article here for that um, minister here. Um, all this, I'm, I'm, I'm going to read it to you. 
The irony of Bishop of Waikato Anglican Church of New Zealand, David Moxham, resigns as Bishop, then goes to the Vatican to take up roles as the Archbishop of Canterbury, representative to the Holy See, and the Director of the Anglican Centre in, in Rome in May next year, 2014. The representative's roles involves relating to the Vatican and the Pope on behalf of the Archbishop of Canterbury and the Anglican Community Embassy Bishop David has done distinguished service to the Anglican Roman Catholic dialogue both locally and globally. So what I am saying here is this. What information is he taking to this dirty, rotten shithole of a Catholic Church in Rome about the Paramount Chief Te Rewakato Wharehere Manikau of his Waikato Manukau Moriori native lands, past sites, marae and cultural history, Bishop Moxham, White Church of England, pirate thug people have destroyed in the British Australian wars to alienate our indigenous lands with the Bible and the cannon gunfire. My question to him is, and the Vatican City Church since you have destroyed our country to your own financial investment interests and injured us personally with your Bible and laws, it is now time to settle the injuries of our New Zealand people, taxpayers, you have robbed over the years back to the first British ship arriving here in 1820 when Paramount Chief Te Rewakato Wharehere Manukau signed a sale and purchase agreement with King George IV in a two-party partnership private contract that has never been relinquished, destroyed, severed or terminated from its inception and that the Church of England has deceived the people of New Zealand of all its natural resources, manpower and Bible and birth certificate, valuable bank instruments for your stolen wealth that has made you wealthy, pirates, while it is, has left our country ruined and split families, broken tribes Hapu and poor communities of people, including the native people you have fused your genes into and forged the native chief's identity, identity and whakapapa genealogy, DNA, cultural her heritage, in identity as an original tribe into your own Church of England trademark, brand name, patented tribe invention called Iwi Maori Crown. Whakapapa, which you have stole from the indigenous native Moriori Manukau Waikato families, who I represent as the appointed surrogate paramount chief Te Rewakato Wharehere Manukau and surrogate paramount chief Ref Ref Manukau as the successor native family historian, paramount chief executor, commercial land owner, Moriori native land commissioner and Maui Crown King William IV Crown Land Patent Trust and Moriori Manukau Trust Bank Creditor Assignee, Director of Nga Tue Wa Altair Limited, Creditor New Zealand, Maui Powerhouse Group Limited, Creditor London, Britain UK, Maui Crown UK New Zealand, Private Company Creditor, Maui Crown King William IV Trust UK NZ New Zealand, Creditor Judgment Creditors, Bill Charge Debted U Corporate Companies and CEOs in Te Ungawaka Marae Native Magistrate Court in Auckland, New Zealand against you named pirates, criminal fraudsters, guilty as bill charged judgment debtors named as David Moxham, Church of England, Queen Elizabeth II, Vatican City, City of London, Bank of England, Church of Canterbury, Queen Victoria Trust, Washington DC, United States of America and a few more after that. So that's what I'm saying here. Um, <coughs> in defiance to um, the Crown here in New Zealand and the government here are now on notice. I'm putting you all on notice as of today um, for this record in these um, claims against you that I'm making statements that we are holding you to account for the damage, the injuries you have caused us in the years you have occupied our land, occupied only lease lands that we can terminate with these writ warrants, writ warrants and citations.
to a court hearing on our terms in our native uh, court here in this book. Okay, so I'm saying you face these deeds and the deeds of New Zealand came out of these deeds of Te Uriho and Ngāti Whākua, Iwi Māori Crown ISIS tribe. Um, I'm likening you to how ISIS operates. The Americans spend a lot of money on ISIS is a tribe against its own people and it's exactly the same. I'm citing you, this I'm libeling you, this with this deed. Right? This deed versus this deed. Iwi Maori Crown versus Maui Crown. King William for Trust. Versus the Humbug Whakapapa. Here. Okay? This is complete bullshit. And you're getting this bill on your head. 970 million trillion trillion pound note on your head. And there's nothing you can do about it because it's going to become law once it's apostolized in 250 countries of the world under this king's flag on dry land. King's flag on dry land given to us. The paramount truth. Paramount word equals to the word king. I don't see anybody using the word paramount anywhere in this country, let alone the 1834 declaration of war flag. This flag is a declaration of war on any pirates who are third party in the Queen Bench Court authority. That the Queen has no seal here in Parliament Wellington and no seal of Westminster in Parliament in Wellington. No license. This is the license. License for this country, New Zealand, and 250 countries in the world. British Empire and Commonwealth countries of the world within this. With this amount of credit against a few third party thugs. If you don't come and face me, Hey, me, as the Registrar of Birth, Death and Marriages, Certificates in Te Unawaka, Morai Native, Magistrate Court in Epsom, next week on Friday, the 10th, at 10 o'clock, between 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock. If those people who are named on YouTube as fact, fact cited evidence in that court and any other court in this country and the world, then that's your bill. That's your bill for everything missing. The gold, the gold, the 9-11 gold missing, the gold in Philippines missing out of this trust, Queen Victoria Trust. All that is in here. The gold missing, everything missing, derived by the king and his commons. Eight point star. Here, eight point star. And King William, the fourth last commercial trading flag authority. He gave us this flag to protect us with this and to collect the rent off you. Collect all the rent off you. Donkey, it's not you. It's me or you. You turn up with your eight point star because I'm being, I'll, I'll be on our land. With this eight point star waiting for you to turn up to face your court hearing for stealing thirteen million dollars taxpayers' money to give to Hillary Clinton, the Clinton Foundation, and terrorism. She is a terrorist. And you're behind as you libel her, you've libeled the US Federal State Government, the United Nations, the IMF, the World Bank, you've libel in New Zealand. NZ Bank against that. Okay? You have libel everything you touch, John Key, in Australia. Your house in Hawaii will be seized with that. And this, the money collection agent.
That's what this house is. Uh, this, this head is. <coughs> this authority that made all that money that you stole. Your houses will be seized in Australia. Your bank accounts. Your businesses. Your investment interests. Even the clothes you wear. We're going to see if you have nothing left on you, just like a original baby, okay? And your house in Hawaii. And you have libel <coughs> all the banks, the Bank of England, the Rothschilds, this country, right? All the Iwi Maori Trusts, the Maori Crown, the Crown itself, the New Zealand Crown, you've libeled them, that's your bill. Jacinda Ardern. Prime Minister of New Zealand, that's your bill. And this is a bounty on your head. Right there. Bitcoin, New Zealand, all those operating and receiving Bitcoins, that's your bill. And that's a bounty on your head. We can send the sheriff out with this municipalities to collect the rent off you and the fine. Okay, that's what that is on this flag. <coughs> it's our flag. It's nobody else's flag. It's not even Maori's flag. So your Maori's better give up the word Maori and switch to Moai. Just change the number plate and put Moai on it. Take the Maori off because everything that's Maori belongs to the crown. Thugs. You want to stay with the Maori word? Fine. You stay there. But you can't come and use it on this side. It's all Moai. Seal. The Moai seal, right here. This Moai is standing in London, right there, okay? And Te Rawaikato Wharehere Manukau seal, and Hongi Hika seal, and Bishop Thomas Kendall in this seal. The water money currency is in this seal here, in those words. Water board, in these words. So, if you're thinking of stealing the old water in the world, you better think twice again because these are going to capture you thieves. Okay, these documents will capture you thieves. All these documents I've got down here will capture you. Okay, so I'll say this is Terawakato. Uh, this is Hongi. This is. Uh, no, uh, holy to holy. That's right.